Oh, hi all! This is going to be the first unboxing video in this fashion. I know that it's not particularly the most special thing that you're ever going to see, but we're just doing the Japan crate just because it's FYE. If you've never heard of this fucking place, it, it's a well-known brand where I live. I don't know if it's anywhere else. But they got an exclusive deal to do this. I don't really care about that. I just want to know if this is an okay setup to use as an unboxing thing. If you've ever watched Max Mofo's videos or Max Mofo Pokemon, you definitely know how this layout's gonna be. Japan Crate is a well known brand that gives a whole bunch of weebs a whole bunch of different shit that's always. I guess, well-versed in what they do. They do a real good job of designing their boxes alongside of monthly care packages that you can get in the mail, but I am not one of those people. This is my first time ever opening one of these, so I just wanted to see what it was like. Also an excuse to make another video. Thing doesn't want to fucking stay open. Time to get us started that you open right off of the bat is a gift voucher. Uh, I guess you can get $10 off of a, more of their packages from their 3, 6, or 12 month subscriptions that you can purchase. I'll be using this myself. If I don't, uh, never mind. I guess this is just a celebration for them being partnered with FYE. So it's a special collector's box if you want to collect all of them. But it also gives you a description of all the items that are in here. So I'll just be going down the list. Item letter... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Item letter A is salt popcorn. Lightly salted butter popcorn is perfect for your next movie night in. No need to pop. Just open the pack and chow down. So from what I can guess, it's just uh, pre-popped popcorn. Well judging from the package. Nothing really too special about it. Next item on the list is going to be Sankaku crackers. Sankaku means triangle, which explains why these crackers come in a cute triangle shape. While they're great by themselves, the vegetable flavor also pairs well with toppings like cheese or ham. Uh, I don't think anything special of these. I think I'm just gonna eat them outright. Item letter C is literally just potato stick. These fry-like potato chips are infused with spicy shrimp flavor. They're perfect for packing with lunch or for an afternoon snack. I can only just assume that these are just shrimp flavored potato fries, not exactly like french fries, just... They're big in Canada, I know. The next item on the list is going to be a little bit crunched up because this thing's been sitting here for like five months. I literally bought this a while ago, but it's going to be teriyaki burger umaibo. Maibo is one of Japan's favorite dung dagashi. This variation is designed to taste like the very savory teriyaki burger. Delicious mealtime flavor packed into a snack. I don't really know what to assume for the flavor of this just because teriyaki and I've never really had an Maibo. So next up is Texas corn okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese style pancake that has a savory but slightly sweet flavor that has an umai umami taste. This particular snack has corn puffs dusted with seasoning to taste like okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, I know, is a dish that you can look up on Binging with Babish. Looks very delicious. No idea what it tastes like. The next item on the list is simply just one singular fruit donut. This gummy ring looks like a donut and comes in a variety of fruity flavors. I never would have guessed. Where the fuck is this next item? the hell? Oh god, everything's falling apart. Ah! So after a long ass time of trying to figure out how to keep this thing up, I had to use the scissors to prop it up even further. Now the entire camera angle has changed, but it's because I had to find this little piece of shit that's barely big enough to fit on the screen. This is Little Gang Candy. If you like the fizzing sensation of Pop Rocks, you'll love these. They say they're especially good if you try it on top of ice cream. I do not have any ice cream at home as far as I know, so this will just be enjoyed as Pop Rocks. The next item on the list is Umai Ring Cheese. Umai Rings are bite-sized versions of Japan's national snack Umaibo, another classic dagashi. These cheese-flavored rings have the texture and shape of a Funyun, but the flavor of a Cheeto. I like to eat both Funyuns and Cheetos, so this will probably be right up my alley. Although this is also supposed to be another Umaibo thing, but just rings. Not a single clue on what it's going to taste like. Flavor of a Cheeto. Another medium-sized item, a corn potage.
Potage. Corn potage is a soup that can even be found in vending machines in Japan around this time. Enjoy this yummy, savory flavor in delight, delicious us. They kind of look like they have the seasoning of those uh, cheese fries with the guy that's sitting on the couch, if anybody knows that brand. I've never known what that brand name is actually called. I just know of it as the guy that's sitting on the couch with a cap that you only see on South Park from Kyle. Another smaller-ish item is the Cheese Zack. This tasty biscuit has a crispy and flaky consistency with a sweet, creamy cheese taste for a unique cheese snack taste. Is it going to be shaped like an actual block of Swiss cheese, or is it just going to be like a cracker, like it says? Or what kind of flavor of cheese is it going to be? It just says sweet, creamy cheese. I could leave a lot to be desired. Another medium-sized item coming up is a Nerico Soft Ice Cream. With this DIY kit, you'll be able to make soft serve ice cream in a unique foamy candy form. It even comes with wafer cones to serve your homemade ice cream. I've heard a lot about some of these DIY things from Japan. A lot of them take so much work for a very, very, very little payout. Don't expect much from this is all I have to say. Item letter L is Pine Ame Gummy. These pineapple flavored gummy rings transport you to a tropical paradise. Each pack comes with five gummy pineapple slices. Why five? Shouldn't they be able... I'm feeling in the package there's enough room to put in a sixth one. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Why stop at five? It's like the Olympic rings if you just hold it like this. Hello Kitty Lollipop! Everyone's favorite Kawaii. cat comes in your crate to bring you a delightful treat! A lollipop so sweet it'll make you purr! I don't think it'll do that! Uh, also that alliteration was god awful, it took me about four tries just to spit it out. I was seriously contemplating on whether to do my Kawaii voice! There you go. There's some furry bait for you. And coming very closely to the end is simply a giant ass bottle to fit in this box. Strawberry Ramune. Ramune is a classic Japanese soft drink. Each bottle is sealed with a marble that when pressed down releases and opens the drink. Recently, Ramune is mixed with different flavors, so it's no surprise that this one is infused with strawberries. Also, if you don't know the history of Ramune, look it up. What I've been told is it's supposed to be their attempt at lemonade with a lot of differences. Also, the design of these uh, bottles is God damn amazing. The marble drops in here, you drink the marble, goes in here, it creates a great flow for something just to drink. It's like beer when they had, when uh, I think it was Miller Lite decided to add in those little tabs where you press down with your key just to make the flow better. Great choice, all I have to say. It's actually kind of funny that uh, Japan Crate decided to put that in there because quite literally, as I was purchasing all this shit, I still had a gift card that I just decided to buy some ramen myself. I've never had the melon flavor, or actually this is kiwi, excuse me. I've had the melon flavor, I've also had the straight up ramen, which I will tell you is literally just like a bubblegum flavor. I don't really recommend it, get something else that's flavored, these are really good. The fruit flavored ones, I don't know about the kiwi. And then right alongside of that, I got a thing of high chews, which I can only assume is supposed to be like fruity flavored uh, Tootsie Rolls. Instead of chocolate, it's green apple strawberries and grapes and that's only I can really assume from the outer edge but this is what they're supposed to look like the fruity center and then maybe like a candy coating in the on the outside and last but not least is a very special item only found in this box alone is the bonus key pen this bonus item will unlock your inner scribe with these fun key pens use them to jot down your notes grocery list or your next novel idea Pink is awesome, but there's obvious some damage after being thrown around in this box and this thing has been sitting around for a few months. Don't really care. Just pop it off and there's your pen. If you really thought I was just going to leave it on that note, I don't think that you really know what an unboxing channel is. I'm literally just going to enjoy all of this shit that I've been saving for how many months? Uh, it's just buttered popcorn, item number one. Definitely a good popcorn. It's not really movie quality, but there's also a taste in there that says butter, but alongside of preservatives to make sure it doesn't spoil as fast. Next up are the Sankaku crackers. Uh, yeah, they're definitely triangle shapes, and it looks like there's they've got a bunch of herbs or maybe blue cheese or something. I don't know about that green. 
that actually has a really strong herbal taste and it's like almost like eating what i can recommend as like the harvest garden sun chips i think they're called it's a very herbal gardenish taste they are really good i recommend getting these if you ever have a chance just have like someone who happens to live in japan just grab a hold of these and the cracker flavor is amazing this potato stick bag that's available in the thing is just so fucking puffed up that i know that all the sticks end like right here it's not this full seriously you could try and bludgeon somebody with this and do more damage to you than them i can barely grip this there's so much air in it i cannot open it oh my god there was so much air that i felt the gust in it opening that has a really really amazing savory flavor and then as you continue to chew in comes this heat which i didn't even realize based off these uh chili peppers down in the corner the shrimp flavor eh, yeah that, I'll, I'll consider that shrimp it's just a really satisfying taste and then the heat really comes in clutch for a secondary mix into the into the battle coming back again with the teriyaki burger umaibo i don't know how something's supposed to taste like a burger i can understand the teriyaki because you can literally just put the seasoning on there will this thing fucking open i can understand the teriyaki seasoning going right over top of this but how does it taste like a burger is beyond me i am simply going to say get one of these this is fucking fantastic that teriyaki flavor is so good and it really does come in with like a burger-esque flavor you're definitely there for the teriyaki flavor but the burger is somewhat there like a smokiness and a savoriness flavor but that teriyaki just oh my god it is such a good season to go with this sort of snack now as i was unboxing this i completely skipped over the fact that this thing is called texas corn okonomiyaki texas corn like, how does something taste like texas is my question and what makes japan think that it tastes like texas tiny little puff balls seasoned kind of like the umaibo things it has a flavor very, very similar to what I've just tasted before. Like, literally right before this, I, I had the same sensation. The flavor's not as powerful, though. So this is kind of a letdown as compared to the other one, uh, simply because the flavor is just so similar. Beyond that, it is still pretty good. Actually, as I kept eating them just before I was able to take them off the screen, I did have a few more. There is another flavor in there that's a little bit sweeter, so that's how they are different. Still just as good as the Umaibo, so I take back my word, these are still good. So after a little bit of finger licking clean, I now present you the single fruit donuts. Fruit donut. This should be gone in roughly one bite, but I'll just try and get a cross section before it's all gone. There you go, it's got an orange and what I can only assume, assume to be a red orange. Very similar to the uh, color of the box. I'll just take a quick bite real quick. Okay, just tried to bite it, and you can definitely tell by the teeth marks. This thing is hard as a rock. I don't know if it's my fault for letting it sit for so long, or if it's just this fucking hard. It has a good sweet flavor, though, from what I could almost taste. I'm gonna just work at this for the time being. And following right after the previous... God damn it. And following right after the previous of something that I don't think we'll be able to preserve for very long is the Little Gang Pop Rocks. Uh, you, I, you're not going to be able to see a lot of these, more so you'll be able to hear them though. Look, I've made a little, uh, dispenser almost. Just so you know, I washed my hands so they're already reacting with some of the water. Uh, but they look a lot more similar to actual rocks than the pop rocks that we have in the states. <laughs> Apparently there was a bunch of water on my hands because now they're just permanently stuck there. I can lick them off, but what's the fun in that? They're already reacting. Now the things that I looked forward to the most, you my ring cheese things, uh, I really want to know why they have my hopes up for both Funyuns and Cheetos going into this. I really don't want to have something that I can pair in my head and then just be let down. So we'll just start off with one simple one and see what we can get from there. So the Funyun texture, I don't really see. It definitely starts off with the Umaibo texture, but as you start chewing, it becomes more of a texture that resembles uh, the state's uh, attempt at that popcorn that you saw earlier like the white cheddar that you mostly see in like vending machines That's what it tastes like down the line 
or excuse me, that's what it feels like down the line. But what it tastes like is a very, like it says, a very sweet cheese in the beginning. And that kind of bleeds out for as long as you keep chewing. And then it dies. You don't really remember what it tastes like. But it's a very good cheese, that I will say. Get these as well. Japan really likes their corn-based things, don't they? The corn potage. I'm really interested to see how they make something that's supposed to be a soup. Oh! Oh, wow! Right off the bat of opening these, I'm blasted in the face by a smell that nothing else has actually given me. This is the first time I've actually been able to smell something before eating it. I have a very, very light, puffy texture as compared to everything else that I've picked up. But still, just very similar to the Umaibo that you've seen before. Huh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh. So. It's very not for me. I've never been a true fan of corn or anything like that. Corn on the cob, sweet corn. Uh, this is a this is a this is a very sweet corn soup flavored dish in a snack, and I'm not the I'm not gonna be the biggest supporter of this. If you like corn, go right ahead. I'll be able to finish this. I'll be able to fork it down, but. Holy hell, that flavor was very not for me. <laughs> now for the tiny little cheese Zack pack. The hell they could have in this? What the? Okay, more stuff resembling the Umaibo sort of corn-based flaky shit. Really don't know what to expect with this flavor. Oh my god, it's bigger than I thought. Is this all one thing? It's all one thing. Oh god. All right. So the other cheese flavor that I've had before this was not as sweet as this, but it's an interesting flavor nonetheless. I really like it, but it's just so jarring. The cheese flavor that they expect you to think of is not what this is. <laughs> then again, they didn't really specify what cheese it is. I'll just enjoy more of this, and I think I'd rather finish this than put it back in the wrapper that I have down below. I think there might be a little bit of like a wet cheese in the center instead of just like a dry rub on the outside. And that might be the sweeter flavor that I'm tasting rather than uh, just like standard American or cheddar or anything like that. With a whole bunch of water on my hand that you can see because I just washed it off again. Uh, I really want to see if I can prepare this in time because I know that my camera is going to be running out of... Uh, recording space and or just recording time so i really just want to see if i can even attempt at making this in time with everything that's going on with my camera see if i can get this done so as soon as you open it the first thing you see is this tiny tiny little packet of what i can only assume to be the ice cream inside three ice cream cones that it promises you and then a tiny tiny little spoon that i can only assume is used to put into the uh, cones I'll see what it means by soft serve. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there's actually instructions that you have to do with this. I can't read full Japanese. I can understand some characters, like that's all, and that's... Mei, I think. Can't really remember, I'm still learning, but... all me. <laughs> Whatever, I'll get used to it. I just know that from the pictures, I just have to pour it out, add some water, and scoop it in. I'll see what I can do. Those white pellets have me scared as to what I am putting into my body. So I am I poured the water off screen just to make sure that I wouldn't spill anywhere near my shit. But as soon as I started pouring it in, I think I may have put in a little bit too much. But it reacted immediately and came up as this weird looking foam that I can only show you now. It did take a second for it to immediately look like a foam, so I was very scared and I was putting too much water in, and I probably still did. But there's a little sample for you. And I know I've smelled this smell before, but I cannot tell you what it reminds me of. I know for a fact that I have smelled it before, but I can't think of it right off the bat. It's definitely not an ice cream flavor. Yeah, I definitely put in too much water if, uh, if it's supposed to act like an ice cream cone. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a very busy flavor. That is nothing what I was expecting as a flavor to be. Uh, well, maybe just the fizziness is what's throwing me off. I'll get a, just a straight scoop of this. And the, and the cone is just like eating a, a styrofoam packing peanut. Ooh, that is such an odd flavor. I'll continue and enjoy it on my off time, but I don't think I'll continue to eat it on screen. Next up is going to be the double package sealed pineapple slices. And I can still see some empty space, so I don't really understand why only five, but we'll see what this tastes like. Come on, pop out. These are not coming out as easily as I'd hope that they would. Kind of have to push from the back, I think. Ugh, what the hell am I actually putting in my body if it's sticking this much to the package? God damn. Ugh. I love the way that the light catches on this, but god damn, this was a was a hassle to get out just for me to eat it. That is a texture of slimy gummy that I have never had before, and I actually like it. I actually like it a lot. Now, I don't really know what I can really assume from a lollipop to give me so much enjoyment out of just beyond being a Hello Kitty thing. If it has its face, nope, it doesn't even have her face on it. Great. It's literally just a lollipop. Thing better at least be fruity flavored and not just pink. Well, I suck on you. There's a little bit of a game that you can play on the back. And I also have my cat, who's who really wants to be in the back of this. Who's clawing at my door to try and get into my recording room. It's nothing too special, it's literally just a lollipop. And now on to the two things that I am scared of the most to open, ramen -A. Simply because it is a fizzy drink that can explode like a soda can. Uh, I know for a fact that as soon as I pop the marble that's up top, it will begin to fizz. Sometimes more than others. Oh, please let this be a dud situation. Or actually, I don't know, because there's a lot of times that people will say the dud is when it ex starts to fizz. I consider the dud to be when it doesn't fizz at all. There we go. So we got the marble up top that makes sure that none of this actually starts to come undone. You just pop this little fucker out. Ouch. Fuck my fingers. The way that I have to record this angle is such an awful design on my part. Not really for you guys, but it is such a fucking hassle. Have your way with it. Line it up top. Press down and... Huh. Oh. oh. Yes. It was a good run for me. Woo. And thank God this one's going to be chilled. Because I, I had this in the refrigerator all last night. Meanwhile, it's been sitting out for months, but I don't care. Uh, okay, so the uh, kiwi flavor did not live up to my expectations. It's literally just like flavored, lightly flavored water for that one. Hopefully the strawberry cream comes in clutch. Or, at the end, I can just combine the two and have a strawberry, uh, strawberry kiwi juice. Or soda, excuse me. God, it feels like I'm removing the clothing of, like, some woman. Oh, God, this one's... This one's got a much deeper marble than the previous one. And this one's already comes undone. Oh, this must protect it a little bit more from over-fizzing. Let's go. Come on. Oh. It's a much easier downward motion than the previous. Maybe this one is just an Americanized version of it, and that's why it's designed weirdly. And this one is just designed straight from Japan. By the way, I'll taste it. Ugh. It's just slightly strawberry flavored fizzy water, and there's not a lot of carbonation because it's not chilled. Uh, so kind of a letdown, kind of a letdown, but together they might make the best drink of all. Let's see. So together was even worse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, I, I just recommend, like, just experimenting with all these snacks. If anything, I really, really do recommend... Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, this must have been the case that the popper must have come in. I guess I just missed it by dropping it. Oh, well. I really just enjoy the fact that Japan Crate has made themselves a company that allows for other countries to experience what other countries' snacks are that 
aren't traditionally the norm for that specific country, but then it brings it into another country just for them to experience. And I really love that. Just Japan Crate, just in its entirety, just is like a good idea, not just as just coming from Japan as a weeby sort of thing, but just in general, more people should experience snacks from all over just so they can expand their palate. And that's one thing that I really want to do is before I die, just taste every source of food there is. Even if I am a picky eater and I really don't care, I want it to go in my mouth. Take that out of context as you will. I almost completely forgot about these high chews. Uh, before closing up the vid, I better try one of these. Uh, don't really expect a lot. They might make my entire day. One little thing might... God damn it, can I please just open this? There we go. Simple high chew. A little pink white thing. Uh, it definitely has the texture of a Tootsie Roll, so we'll see. Yep. Exactly what I thought. A very fruity Tootsie Roll. I mean, you can get fruity Tootsie Rolls here, so... I don't know if this is special. It was just in the candy section that I had extra money off my gift card for. Oh well. But in the end, I guess I just really want to say thank you so much for allowing me to do this. This video was not sponsored in any way. I just really like the company from what I've heard, other videos that I've seen. And just to really appreciate that their entire logo is surrounded by the word Segoy. Have a nice day. Now I get to eat all of these snacks by myself. Woo!